loaded on the ship and taken to Cairns and immediately loaded onto a train waiting for them and neither was there provisions for food there or opportunity for a meal off they went just like cattle and uh, this must have been a horrific experience for them because they hadn't ever travelled in a train and uh, they went on and Townsville the elderly ones about 24 were offloaded and taken to Palm Island and then on through Rockhampton and then west to Biloela and Thangul and uh, and next to Wurrabinda. They went as far as they could and they came to the end of the railway line and then they were loaded on trucks. Some arrived there midnight and some early in the morning and uh, they were kind of welcomed by the local people and they were allowed to find some shelter in the school and other buildings and so they were in a different situation altogether nobody knew them and so and they had to uh, also strip bark off trees to make their own humpies I visited them it was on our honeymoon I went out because I was a friend of Pastor Wenke who was in charge of them and uh, he was a New South Welshman too and so that was my first contact with the Aboriginal people and that night we had a service and I was asked to preach the message and there they stayed until 1949 when finally the government agreed for them to return and uh, in that there was a lot of discussion and debate where, what site and how much good land because that was missionary Schwartz's great desire to have good enough land not just sand hills and swamps uh, so they could make a living there and Hope Vale was chosen present day Hope Vale and uh, with running water going by and good land too so uh, today they are very happy that that has happened although there's a lot of sadness and at least 58 adults and children lie buried through illness and cold at Wurrabinda <laughs>